tell you welcome to gusto news this is gusto tv africa and i go by the name andy yeah on the news this time we've got rema we've got olami de bado and i'll be rounding up the news with producer p p p prime but yeah before i go into the details of the news i will start by saying thank you so much for all that you do for us talking about the likes the comments sharing and also telling people about what we do right here on gusto tv trust me guys we see all that you're doing and we want you to keep on doing it for us i mean keep on spreading the gospel of gusto and if you're new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe and your kindly subscribe and turn on the post notification bell we usually advise you to turn on the post notification bell because we do not want you to miss all of our amazing content. Trust me, we have a lot of good content we do here and you wouldn't want to miss any of them. So subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. All right, as I said, we're going to be starting up the news with Rema, the Maven signee and the chosen one signee Rema. Rema has been giving us hits back to back to back. I mean, talking about another banger. Yes, during one of those Twitter spaces during the weekend, Rema actually told us that another banger will be dropping later this month. So yes, we're actually hoping for a new Rema banger this month. He told us during the space and um, he was like, you know what guys, don't worry, trust me, another banger is going to be dropping this month. Well, something Rema actually started trending for during the year or rather when the year started was the fact that he said he would be going back to school. So Rema on his Twitter account actually came out to talk about the fact that his mom wants him to go back to school to pursue you know a career yes talking about an educational career so let's go through some of the tweets he actually tweeted back then so on the 7th of january this year rema came out to say what if i told you i got an admission into unilag lol mom said i still need to get a degree sigh oh well see you guys in class let's get that particular part because it's going to be very useful later during this news so he says oh well see you guys in class then he went on to say i go try drop the album before i enter school make them no go beat me for unilag plus i am in the creative art department so yes we know rema is in the creative art department and he also said see you all in class so well classes have resumed the students are back in school and people have actually been anticipating to see Rema in class. And guess what, guys? Rema is yet to resume school. And so many people have been talking about the fact that, wait, but Rema actually said it was going to be, you know, going to be a student right here in Unilag. And he also said, see you guys in class. So, yes, this is one of the reasons why a particular user on Twitter has decided to call Rema out and tell him that, guy, but you said you were going to be in class. So, where have you been all this while since school resumed? So, someone says, Mekuna ask Rema why he never go class since school resumed so yes these are people actually asking the fact that rema you actually told us we'll see you in class but right now school has resumed for some weeks now and you are yet to be in class and you are yet to resume so rema in case you see this video can you reply and tell us why you are yet to be in class and also why you're yet to resume school well rema also told us the album um, is also ready and maybe soon we'll get to listen to the album so he says he will drop the album before he goes to school make there no beat down for uni like so rema kindly drop the album and and tell us why you are yet to resume school all right away from brema let's talk about olamide bado olamide is one of those guys who is definitely good at raising people i mean talk about zazuze talking about portable i mean olamide jumped on his song from portable and right now portable is one of those big names right now right here in nigeria then there's also the trending song of mokwe by ashake in which olamide dropped on the song and trust me that song is doing a whole lot of numbers right now well there's also sometimes by ti blaze olamide jumped on that song and he definitely blessed that song like he has blessed other songs before that one and trust me that song is also doing a whole lot of numbers let's talk about signings into his record label ybn we have likes of Lil cash and we know how Lil cash was doing the year 2014 2015 2016 there about when Lil cash was that name on every household i mean everyone was vibing to Lil cash everyone was dancing shoki and a whole lot of other songs from Lil cash then we also have the likes of victor and then moving on we had a dekunle gold which olamide also mentored and signed to his record label and Olamide, uh, sorry, Adekunle Gold went on to be one of the biggest artists in Nigeria and is still one of the biggest artists in Nigeria. Just dropped the, an album, Catch Me If You Can. So definitely Adekunle Gold holds, or uh, rather, you know, owes a lot of respect and loyalty to Olamide. But right now, there's one guy who is doing a whole lot of numbers 
featured a UK artist He's talking about a big name like Ed Sheeran and that name right now is Fireboy DML currently signed to Olamide's YB and now definitely doing a whole lot of numbers for himself currently on tour in the United States of America so trust me Olamide is that guy who has mentored a lot of people and is that big brother and big boss to a whole lot of artists well right now Olamide has come out to tell us that he has signed another artist to YBNL but before we go into the details of that particular guy let's go back to the year 2020 when Olamide on his Twitter actually announced they saw someone in Abel Kuta and that guy is really really mad like really crazy I mean really really talented so Olamide said here people should watch out for J-Boy met him in Abel Kuta IBD hotel he served me drinks and started to and started freestyling for hours he didn't want to leave I just had to put him on can't wait to see him shine so yeah this was um october 2nd 2020 by 1 51 a.m so yeah this is 2022 and finally j boy has been signed by olamide to ybnl olamide confirmed this on you know his instagram page together with a single um, titled yoba yeah and that olamide said here yeah, welcome to ybnl at official j boy so we have a new artist in ybnl the first since fireboy dml got signed to ybnl in 2018 2019 so about five years later Olamide has signed a new act, J Boy, and right now he has a song titled Yo Ba Yeah, which features Olamide on it. And as expected, that particular track is doing a whole lot of numbers right now. There's also a video to that song and has a whole lot of views on YouTube right now. So Olamide has signed a new artist, which or rather who is called j boy there's also rema who has refused to go to school and fans are like guy i beg resume school let us see you in class and we also have as i said um who again do we have on the news yeah so we also have you know um Olamide bado signing an artist for that particular one all right guys let's move on to the last on the list talking about p prime the producer p prime i mean if you hear the name p p P Prime on any track, just know it's gonna be a big banger. You guys also bang by the way right now, definitely banging right now. There's a naughty by Whiskey, in which you know this guy produced that song and a whole lot of other songs in which he has produced. So trust me, P Prime is that particular art, that particular producer in which artists actually run to for a hit. Well, P Prime right now has come out during an interview to talk about his year 2021. And one thing that actually amazed a whole lot of people was the fact that he mentioned that the song Zazuze by portable Pokoli and Olamide he never wanted to actually do this song so yes um P Prime actually said Olamide called him over and then he was like okay I want you to work on this particular song then he saw portable and he was like no 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 not again I don't want to actually work on something like this but he didn't say it out or something he actually said internally and you know when he started recording portable he was like okay this is the kind of song I don't want to actually work on this song I actually don't want to do nothing on this song but then later on you know he did the song he vibed to it and at the end of the day right now that song is in a whole lot of numbers and according to him he doesn't regret actually working on that song because that song definitely is doing so well because right now he said you know people actually telling him P Prime made me day bear just like the popular Olamide line in that song so P Prime is definitely enjoying himself right now for being a part of that song even though initially he never wanted to be a part of the song Zazuze by you know Portable Pokoli and Olamide all right as I said rounding up the news with P Prime and also on the news we had Olamide and we had Rema. All right, guys, remember to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, T keep on telling people about what we do right here on Gusto TV. The comment section is yours to tell us what you think about the news, and we'll be there to answer to some, if not all, of your comments. My name is Andy. Do have a great and exciting day. Bye bye.